Jake4Money asks, If someone else was having an Ask Adler show, what would you ask them? I'd ask, why weren't you able to come up with an original name? It's Adler, Adler, it's the Adler Show. Whoa! New intro! That was so awesome! Yes, it is so awesome, which is why I'd like to thank Chris Howard for helping me out with that awesome intro graphic, and you should go check out his channel, and I might be appearing in a video of his this Sunday. Who knows, maybe. Speaking of Chris Howard, he asked me a question. So, are you growing your hair out now? I actually am, it's for a show. That's what I always say. Speaking of my hair, Jenny Steele asks, Why is your hair always so luscious? Which prompted Steve Skelton to ask, Why does Jenny care why your hair is so luscious? Okay, I give. Why is your hair always so luscious? Well, I've given away how I style my hair on the show before, but I've not revealed to you how I keep it so luscious, but I'll do that right now for you guys. You only need a few simple ingredients to have hair as luscious as mine. Go ahead and gather three drops of unicorn tears, a jar of angel breath, two tablespoons of the rainbow, a dash of snow from the top of Mount Everest, and then a few melted gold coins. Mix it all up and you get a lovely paste that will make your hair luscious as mine in no time. Logan Lewis asks, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck had muscles like yours? Approximately three trees, because that's how much wood I chuck every morning. Kathleen Gibbons asks, at what point in your life did you realize that you were born to be a star? Probably when I started chucking wood, because I knew that all the exercise was sure to give me a heavenly body. Becca Sue 98 asks, if you could only listen to one music artist for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a music artist that I would listen to over and over again, but no one really comes to mind. Michelle Thompson asks, would we ever find you in a Waldo suit? Psh, no, I'd look ridiculous in a Waldo suit. Colin McCluskey asks, beauty tips for back to school. I, I don't use a lot of makeup when I go back to school since I'm homeschooled and all, but I do use a little because I don't have very distinct eyebrows. How do you fix that? Well, just draw some eyebrows in. Here we go. Just like that. And look, I'm already becoming more expressive by the minute. Oh, beautiful. Wow, look at that. You've never seen me with eyebrows before, have you? But now you are. And... Yeah. Make sure they're the both the same thickness. You don't want one thin one and one thick one. That's that's weird. And there you go. Now you have eyebrows and you're the most popular kid at school because you have an awesome face. You're welcome. Justin Moser asks, were you born awesome or did you have to learn how? I wouldn't say I was born awesome, but watching Mr. Rogers as a kid definitely helped in my journey to awesomehood. Ryan Kasanoff asks, when you get a lot of subs, will you go on tour throughout the USA? Yes, I definitely will. So you guys just need to get me to a couple million subscribers, and then the awkward and amazing tour will definitely happen. Breakdancer asks, if the shoes were names of ice cream flavors, which brand slash style would you want to eat? Assuming that you're not supposed to put your feet in the ice cream before you eat it, I think that Nike ice cream would taste pretty good. Delaney Sawyer asks, if you could only eat one food every day for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Nike ice cream. Don't ask why, just do it. Sarah Welch asks, how would you describe a jellyfish to a blind person? I'd say it's like grabbing a handful of spaghetti, but that spaghetti is delivering an excruciatingly painful shock to your hand and arm. That's how you know you're holding a jellyfish, not spaghetti. Z Call asks, do you have a celebrity crush? Judge Judy. Joella Eleven asks, if you could choose an accent, what accent would you choose other than American? I think I would choose a British accent because British accents make people a bajillion times cooler than they already were. And who wouldn't want that? Cordell Williams asks, when Frosty the Snowman gets hot, does he melt or sweat? I think he would start melting and then start crying when he realizes that he's melting. He'd also be crying because people would have to call him Drippy the Puddle. Max9999 asks, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Finish this video.